Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Libra, April 5, 2022. The Sun and Jupiter are heading into alignment, and increased optimism and hope can be powerful healers. It's a time of abundant ideas to improve your health or work attitudes and efforts. Finding more meaning in your work and satisfaction in helping or serving others is a big theme. Graciousness leads to success now. When Jupiter is involved, it's always best to watch for overcommitting, which can come back to haunt you at a later time when you're not as energized or motivated. Otherwise, you can feel a real surge of optimism and confidence about self-care and self-improvement going forward, particularly through efforts to upgrade your daily life, habits, and routines. Events or epiphanies today can increase your commitment to, or excitement about, making positive changes. What's theirs is yours. Falling for someone new? Never say never. The moons shift into overzealous Taurus and your harmony-seeking seventh house of agreements, compromise, and significant others brings emotional emphasis and intuitive clarity to themes surrounding everything from your contractual agreements to your desire for a committed relationship. The universe has your back, so don't lose hope. And always express gratitude. Meanwhile, the Moon's ruler Mars which also happens to govern your relationship sector will be sitting alongside your celestial ruler, Venus, via your cozy fourth house of home. It's time to build your dream home with the right person by your side. Inspiration can come from anyone, anywhere, at any time. As the Sun in Pisces sextals Uranus in Taurus today, it may be time to consider a different method or routine at work. Uranus is shaking up your shared resources and money, while the Sun is energizing your everyday work life. So, you may find that your fantastical routine could do wonders for your fiscal security. Since Mercury conjunct Saturn in Aquarius as well, you could be scheming of new, innovative ways to tackle your creative pursuits at work. Try not to lean into the pessimistic view of the conjunction. In the lead-up to the moon's return to your financial sector tomorrow this is an important point in any month for having your antennas up while taking a wait-and-see approach. This gives you time to process a friendly aspect between the moon on the job and the south node on the income front yesterday and the window this was into something bigger developing on both fronts. You need some new friends. That's not to say you should ditch the old ones, but if somebody makes you a surprising offer, go ahead and accept it. Things may not go as planned today. Just when you are starting to get things going your way, something can happen to upset the whole picture. What you do in a situation like this says a lot about you. In order to have the patience and endurance you will need, be sure to get aerobic exercise. The oxygen in your bloodstream is converted directly into patience. And a bit of spicy food is good to get the toxins out of your blood, too. With the essence of this day at hand today you can expect to feel ready to get productive. You will find your mind sharp and thinking clear, along with feeling energized. Don't dawdle on a day like this. Make a list, pull out your schedule, and get on the phone if there are calls that need to be made. If there's any cleaning or organizing required, you'll have no problem whatsoever. Be sure to take time to wind down and relax later on. Knowing that she will not only return to your busy work sector today but just as the stars are already starting to align in your favor, Venus is working to make the most of her last full day in a playful part of your chart. In the early days of the working week that will be less of a challenge than you might think, with the moon's return to an adventurous part of your chart as Mars and Saturn align in a playful part tilting the day towards that side of life's fence. It is in the second half of the week that things will become more professionally focused. In a case of perfect timing, the moon returns to an adventurous part of your chart just as Venus, the planet of love is spending her first full day in your romantic sector and Mars is starting to fire up his romantic passions and fighting spirit. While Venus will leave before the moon can form a friendly aspect she is on hand as a mix of romance, passion and adventure comes together. Our eyes in the sky. The moon takes its first steps in fiery Taurus this morning, marking the beginning of a new lunar cycle. 
you should be feeling emotionally refreshed and ready to take on the world. The energy here is great for starting new projects, so if you've been putting aside certain tasks, now would be the time to pick them up and execute your plans. This energy likes to move, so you'll likely get a boost to your endurance as well. Your desire for adventure is highlighted now, which could lead to an impulsive excursion away from home. Humor your whims today, fleeting as they may be, and don't be afraid to step out of your normal routine. This afternoon, the moon cozies up to healing asteroid Chiron, and this aspect could go one of two ways. You could do a really great job of putting someone else's needs ahead of your own, which could in turn leave you with the short end of the stick. Or you could finally give yourself permission to be a little bit selfish. This is the time to think about what you want and then act on it. It might feel unnatural to be so self-serving, but we all need to take time out for ourselves now and again. Just remember to be gentle with others when you're letting them know it's all about you right now, while your attention will be drawn in many directions today, the most urgent is Venus and Mars last full day in your career sector. While Venus has been here for the last four months, Mars for the last six weeks and they have been aligned for nearly three weeks, from tomorrow the push to get this professional year up to speed will end and it will become more about the journey. In all your personal and professional goals and ambitions, Today is about not just focusing on what excites you but daring to believe in what's possible. Having the Moon in Taurus as Venus and Mars spend their last full day in a competitively charged part of your chart and prepare to move to a more social and serendipitous part tomorrow is a huge advantage. The planets of love and passion are as tightly aligned now as they have been and thanks to the Moon you are emotionally engaged. It is an especially quiet day astrologically as the Taurus moon makes no aspects until it links up with wounded healer asteroid Chiron afternoon. This transit stimulates insecurities, forcing us to become our own emotional support system. In the past, especially in our formative years, a fear of rejection caused us to shy away from expressing some facet of our identity. Perhaps we were deemed too loud, too opinionated, or accused of taking up too much space. We might have had interests or ambitions that clashed with familial expectations or ostracized us from our peers. As children, we internalized these complaints and associated them with a lack of safety. The message, if we are our authentic selves, others will abandon us. At this juncture, events occur which provoke familiar anxieties. The Moon and Chiron are currently the only planets transiting a fire sign, and burning feelings of anger and resentment could flare up seemingly out of nowhere, directed at those who unknowingly poke old wounds. Although our frustrations are valid, perpetuating harm is no way to reconcile our past. In fact, through these confrontations, we become more practiced at supporting and healing the inner child who craves validation. Be your own best cheerleader now. It is our birthright to express ourselves, take action, and forge new paths, no matter how loud we are or who we might disturb in the process. It is not our responsibility to make ourselves palatable for others, and rectifying this ideology helps us attract true friends and allies.